Hi guys, welcome to another video. There's a protest going on at the NFT NYC exhibition. It's an NFT exhibition. A lot of projects share what they're going to be doing. A lot of project discoveries are made there. But this year, we're seeing a protest about NFTs at the NFT NYC, which is very, very weird. A lot of people are claiming that this protest was paid by someone and all this is going on. Michael Saylor giving an interview on Fox News sharing what he thinks about the Bitcoin bottom to be and where he thinks Bitcoin is going to be heading. Do watch that interview by Michael Saylor. A lot of learning can be done by watching that interview. Let's get into the details in the charts today. A lot of stuff is going on. First thing first, let's get into the BTC USDT four hour chart. And in the four hours, we can see a massive bearish divergence forming on the four hours. The lines aren't matching on the RSI and the candle sticks. So a lot of uh, sentiment was there that the market could have a very good relief rally but given that rally we're now beginning to see a bearish divergence forming on the four hours uh, that could really really change the dynamics of everything and the volume is lacking so if we don't have big volume coming in there can't be a big breakout coming in the market do have to watch out for the volume if the volume comes in could get bullish but for now have to remain bearish given the bearish divergence similar pattern is going on on ethereum bearish divergence forming volume is lacking and we're also seeing a bearish divergence forming on the rsi the candlesticks and the line on the rsi aren't matching which is a sign of worry hope things get better in the market but for now the market is drawing bearish sentiments there's a lot of bearish price structures and overall the structure isn't looking very very good let's get into the dxy dxy is making a massive cup and handle i showed you guys that in the last video now we could have a breakout but for now it is coming down we can't have fed raising interest rate 75 bps in july that's gonna bring a bullish upside on the dxy and we don't want to see that that's going to bring more inflation into the country especially third world countries and will destroy economies around the globe Next up, let's get into USDT's dominance. USDT's dominance is coming down right now. Had a quick bearish candle. It was a bearish engulfing candle. We want to see it come down and probably break its trend, which is around the blue line, but it looks very, very unlikely. We aren't seeing any upside or momentum in Bitcoin's price action. If we do see that, then we could confirm that Bitcoin has made a bottom. But for now, it looks very unlikely. If we get into Bitcoin's dominance, Bitcoin's dominance has been in sideways channel for now. We would want that to come into 49 to 50%. That would be the point where we could believe a bottom is in the market because all coins in my assessment still have to go down a lot. Let's get into Solana. I want to share some TA on the daily time frames on Solana. So Solana is looking very, very bearish on the daily time frames. It's going down all the way to $10. Looks very, very bearish there. There's a bearish divergence forming on the RSI and the candlesticks. Looks very, very bearish for now. The price level is around $35. I feel it could go down to $19, but lower BB right now sits at $10. We get into the AVAX chart on the four hours. AVAX is also looking very, very bearish. A hidden bearish divergence is forming on the candlesticks and the RSI isn't matching that out at all. My target for AVAX is about $9, but our lower BB on the four hours is at 13. We are taking support from our SMA 50, which is around $16. Looks very, very bearish to me, but we expect some kind of upside, a ready flatty to be coming in all the altcoins. If we get into the BNB's chart, BNB is right now taking support from $211. It's yellow support line. It has a bearish divergence forming, another hidden bearish divergence. On the four hours, the lower BB is around $191. And we are also just around the SMA 50, which is around $213. This is also looking very, very bearish, likely to go down and hit the lower BB. Let's get into BTC USDT bullish and bearish chart. We did have a quick bounce from the tunnel zone. We are making a lot of similarities on this upside from the upside we saw here where we had a waterfall effect went sideways then had a quick upside got rejected from the resistance and had another waterfall a similar pattern might just play out here that would bring us into end of crypto bubble which is around fourteen thousand dollars. Let's get into Ethereum bullish and bearish chart. A similar pattern, what we're seeing on BTC on the daily time frames, we are seeing that 
on Ethereum as well. We had a quick waterfall effect here, had another retest, which was our resistance. And then we just went down very, very quickly, making a similar pattern right now. And our Thanos level is going to be accomplished. Looking at the BB, lower BB is around $704. It's going to get very, very bearish from there. Let's get into gate.io's big data. So on greed and fear index, we were on nine yesterday. Today we are at 11 that the gap we wanted to have from six, seven, nine is now beginning to come into the market. And that's going to give us some leeway to have a further downside coming. Overall, if you look into long and short ratio, global data and block trades, quite even Stevens, a lot of people long position 60% in long positions, 24 hours in block trades. If we get into market sentiment for BTC and ETH, they are neutral. Funding rate for BTC is finally positive, but for Ethereum, it still remains negative. Now, if we get into some interesting news, Goldman Sachs sees 30% chance of US economy tipping into recession over the next year up from previous forecast of 15 percent that's just 2x right there looks very very bearish what goldman sachs is saying uk inflation reaches 9.1 the highest it's seen in 40 years that is a massive massive statistic right there increasing inflation in the united kingdom so that's all for today's video guys i hope you liked today's video if you do smash the like button share your thoughts in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe to my channel gonna be back in here soon take care guys bye bye